Hello, everyone. Let's get right into our second step lesson. Here we go. We've been learning about how to calm down when we have strong and uncomfortable feelings. Today, we are going to talk about how sometimes we need to calm down so that we can focus and get our work done. Knowing how to calm down can help you be a better learner. Our story today is about Tanisha. This is Tanisha here in the blue striped shirt. Tanisha has a mess to clean up. On Fridays in Tanisha's classroom, students must clean out their desks before getting choice time. Tanisha, of course, like anyone, loves choice time, but her desk is very messy this week and she knows it's going to take her a while to clean it out. How do you think Tanisha feels? Yes, maybe angry or annoyed or stressed out. We can tell because her hands are out, kind of like she's asking a question. Her shoulders are scrunched and we can put ourselves in Tanisha's shoes. If we had a big mess to clean up, we might feel frustrated too. Tanisha's feelings are so strong that part of her wants to just sit at her desk and do nothing. Tanisha starts thinking, I hate cleaning out my desk. It's not fair. I just want to do what I want to do. This is too messy. It will take forever. This isn't fair. Tanisha is using negative self-talk. Negative self-talk often pops in our head when we're having an uncomfortable feeling. But negative self-talk makes us feel worse. How can Tanisha calm down so that she can get her job done? Tanisha needs to stop and slow herself down. Maybe even take some slow belly breaths. Then she needs to use some positive self-talk to help her stay focused and motivated. What do you think Tanisha should say to herself? Maybe Tanisha could say something like, I'm going to work really hard for two minutes and see what I can get done. Or she could say, maybe it won't take me too long if I focus. Or she could say, just get started. That's the hardest part. You might have come up with some different things Tanisha could say, and that's fine. There are so many ways we can use positive self-talk. It's very important to think of positive things to say to our brains because when we have strong feelings, sometimes our brains tell us kind of a negative story. You have probably all been here and had a big job to do that seemed like it would take forever. When this happens, it's important to slow down and notice how you're feeling. Pay attention to what your thoughts are telling you. You may need to tell your brain something else. All right, we're going to end our lesson for today by watching our Calm It Down dance video. You're feeling brain takes hold and you could flip your lid. Stop, you've got to think it through. Just calm it down like this. Stop and name your feeling calm down. 
Stop and then you're feeling calm down. Stop and then you're feeling calm down. Stop and then you're feeling calm down. Every day we can have strong feelings, strong emotions that send us reeling. But there are steps we can take to calm down. These are the keys to turn things around. Just stop and then you're feeling. Turn on your brain. Start thinking, not just feeling. Calm it down. Do some breathing. Calm it down. And some counting. One, two, three, four. Calm it down. Use self talk. I can do it, I can do it. And keep thinking. Stop. Name what you're feeling now and take some belly breaths. Say good things it. to I yourself. Do it. Count One, and calm two, the three, feeling four. down. Stop and name your feeling calm 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 down. Feeling calm down. Say someone bumps you and you drop your stuff. You can't think clearly, you're feeling rough. Just say stop. Name what you're feeling. Take back your powder, don't hit the ceiling. Stop. Name what you're feeling now and take some belly breaths. Say good things it. to I yourself. Can't and calm the feeling down. Stop and name your feeling calm 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 down.